All right, pay attention to these talented high schoolers we're talking about today. You could one day be wearing one of their top designs. That's right, and Kimberly Lloyd is here to tell us about some exciting news about the students and show us some of the amazing designs the Flowing Wells fashion students have been coming up with. Kimberly, thank you so much for being here. Oh, well, thanks for having us. Well, I know we're very it. excited to see all of these designs, yes. but first tell us, what is the FCCLA? FCCLA is the student organization for students who enrolled in fashion, interior design, culinary, hospitality, and early childhood education. Uh, it's Family, Career, and Community Leaders of America. And these lovely ladies have, we said we have some exciting news. We're talking about nationals, right? We are. Um, they all competed at the state level and had either the top or the second top score. So that qualifies them to go to nationals and they will be competing there in their same events. Wow, this is really incredible. And, I'm, and we get a special preview here on the show, yes. which is really great. So let's talk about the STAR events. STAR EVENTS, it stands for Students Taking Action with Recognition. And for us specifically, there's STAR EVENTS, there's Fashion Design, Fashion Construction, Recycle Redesign. Um, those are specific to fashion. And then this year, Grace also did the chapter in review. So that's a category that's open, you know, to any content area. So they've had to prepare their project. They had to go to the state competition. They had to do a five minute oral presentation in front of the judges. And um, there's a lot of work that they didn't bring with them today. That's the support work for what they've done that they'll take with them to Washington to present. Well, that was the question I was going to ask. So we're, we're taking the ladies to Washington. When do the nationals happen? We actually leave next Saturday, the 4th of July. And so we'll be spending the 4th in the Capitol. And they will compete on Monday and Tuesday. And then they have workshops and activities. And we'll return back to Tucson on the 10th. Well, this sounds like much more than a competition. It sounds like a wonderful educational experience as well. It is. Well, I know I'm really looking forward to meeting these lovely ladies and uh, seeing some of their projects yeah. here, shall well, we? Yeah, let's okay. let's see. I know we have lots to look at. And like you said, there's so many categories and, and what they all did. So we'll start on this side. Go ahead and give me your name and then give me a little bit of an explanation of uh, what we have here. Uh, my name is Jasmine Guzman in here. It's one of the pieces of like my six designs that I did. And uh, this is the one I chose to do and it's mariachi inspired. So as you can see, like the lace here, it's kind of, it mimics like the, the greca. It's the embroidery that you would see on a like traditional uh, mariachi traje. I so. like this, take a little bit of the Southwest <laughs> to Washington DC, show them what we're all about. And I know you had to do like a, an entire portfolio. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. And um, it's, it, focuses on different things so you had to do like your six designs and then you have to do your customer profile like who you would sell it to and like target retailers and all of that so it was it was a really great experience just like figuring out where I could possibly be designing. So you have to be fashion minded you also have to be business minded you have to be a complete yeah. package. <laughs> yeah it's really yeah yeah. <laughs> I, I think that's amazing. This is beautiful. I love that you took that mariachi uh, spirit. I love that. And we're going to completely change gears because go ahead and give me your name and then tell me about your design. Um, I'm Erendita Robles and I also competed in fashion design doing the same thing for Folio. My inspiration was actually my little three year old sister. Yeah. I just wanted to make like every little girl feel like an everyday princess. So I did children's way. Oh, I love it. So did your sister love this? Yes, she did. <laughs> she did? And so yeah. did you just decide that you were going to go with like younger fashion or how did you come about with that? Um, well, I think it was just kind of like do something for our annual fashion show yeah. at school. And I wanted uh, to make something for my little sister. So I just made a collection. But I don't know if that's something I would focus on. Focus exactly. on? You could do anything you want. Go anywhere <laughs> with these designs. This is adorable. Same thing. Go ahead and give me your name and what your fashion is. I'm Zana Eli. Um, I competed in fashion construction. Um, my inspiration for my design was butterflies in the spring. So, oh. yeah. I think that's great. And so, what's the difference when when we're talking about what you've done versus the portfolio and everything? Um, construction, you're judged on your construction skills of your garment. So, I was. Um, so it's judged like, on it. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, like the sewing, the putting it, putting together, the yeah. actual making the garment happen. Yeah. 
Well, this is beautiful. I know we have three other ladies. Yeah, three ladies over here with some beautiful outfits as well. So tell me your name and your project. Um, okay, so hi, my name is Itzel Herrera, and I also competed in fashion construction. And so pretty much with my garment, um, well, with my outfit, I wanted to create something fun and quirky, yet still age appropriate for the average teenage girl. So that's why I created the blue jacket and then the pants, and then I added like a different lining to the jacket to make it more fun. Oh, see, I love that. Age appropriate, really key. And so you will be judged really on kind of the construction of yes. every piece of this outfit. Yes. Well, it's beautiful, and I've been eyeballing the top there anyway. <laughs> but, uh, so we might have to talk later. <laughs> and now we have another lovely young lady that has a gorgeous dress that I'm going to ask for to borrow. <laughs> What's your name, dear? Emily Savinsky. And I created this dress. It's more of like an evening gown, or not gown, but um, like cocktail attire for which I created it for um, the. Moda Provocateur, it's the Southern Arizona AIDS Foundation, and so their color is red, so they had a red dress category, and so I created it for that. It's beautiful, and how did you come up with the kind of design aspect down here? Um, well, I got it from a pattern, and so what my project is called Petals of Love is because the red and the oh. petals of the, the dress. So. Well, I love that. It's absolutely beautiful, Thank and we you. do have one more lady right here. What's your name? Um, my name is Grace Dalrymple, and I competed in Chapter and Review Portfolio. So what does that mean exactly? Um, I basically made a scrapbook with different pages of um, what we did throughout the year that was part of FCCLA's like chapter goals. And so I put it together in a portfolio because I wanted a way to show everything we did throughout the year. Well, some incredible design, some incredible work. I think these ladies are going to be very successful at national. national. Yes, ladies, yeah. represent us well. <laughs> we wish you all the luck. These designs are amazing. And to keep up with the Flowing Wells High School fashion, you can search for them on Facebook. For more information, you can also call 696-8001.